Hi, how are you doing, Aries? Aries, I know yo motherfuckers. I gotta treat yo motherfuckers greatly. Let me show you something. Anyway, this is your reading for August 22nd to 27th. Pretty cool, right? Um, I hope you're having a nice day. I hope you have a nice um, week. Um, if this video resonates, please be sure to share it with your fellow aliens. It's not going away. Trust me, it's not. Uh, <coughs> if uh, if this reading also resonates, please be sure to come back and get more readings from me. Let's get into your reading. What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know for the week of 22nd to the 27th? The wheel of fortune. You start off with the wheel of fortune. Aries, I'm gonna ask you one thing. What do you want? Make a wish. What do you want, Aries? Make a wish. Make your will. Um, it's kind of like it's your time to spend the wheel of fortune. You know, it's kind of like. I want this, I want this, I want this. It's about time you make that wish. And I feel like your wish might be lying with something you have passion for. Uh, it could be dealing with your work situation, something you truly enjoy loving to do. Um, I feel like when I say work, you might be wanting to make it, um, how would I say it, a business? You might be wanting to make it a, um, You might want to make it an establishment. Thank you. Bro, my brain just went through a lot of crap just to come up with one word. Oof. And whatever you're doing uh, for fun, for enjoyment, um, something you might be doing for... Something you might be doing uh, in terms of um, your hobbies, I want to say, it attracts somebody. It attracts somebody who really wants commitment. It might be attracting, um, uh, let's say you do a small scale value of um, maybe bottling water and you're attracting in water companies. Whatever your business is, whatever your hobbies or talents or skills lie, I feel like it's attracting proper people. Uh, with the hair front, it could be also attracting relationships in your life. If, you, let's say, you said you want a relationship, uh, you might be just needing to go after it. You know, as much as you feel like your doubts, you feel like something is not going to work out, you feel like something is not truly uh, uh, working in your favor as much as you might be feeling like something is not truly bearing fruits for you when you want them uh, It's like things don't happen when you want them. However, things happen when you need them. I know um, With the hair of front you might be dealing with a Taurus somebody who uh, can be tr quite trusted somebody who can be quite promised if also this is you who really wants your business to really go off, who really wants your work to be recognized, I feel like you're coming to that time with the hair front. You're attracting a lot of people's attention and you're getting to a place where you feel confident within yourself. Uh, you might be dealing with an institution, a large business, a large uh, pardon, where you might be signing um, contracts. However, like I asked you with the Wheel of Fortune, what do you want? It's your time to spend the Wheel of Fortune. However, as you spend the Wheel of Fortune, you gotta account something. Karma comes into play. How you've been going by situations, the efforts you've been putting in within your work, within your passion, uh, it's kind of like it's gonna be recognized and it's gonna be rewarded accordingly. Let's say you've been really investing your time in something you enjoy to do, let's say whatever your talent or skills lies, it's kind of like I've been really going after it, after it, and after it, and after it. It's kind of the wheel of fortune, it's kind of like the universe is how much work you've been putting in and it is going to really enroll in something that feels stable, something feels that feels long term. If you're looking for a relationship, please um, just be, I feel like, uh, be willing to um, put yourself out there. With the King of Cups, is not somebody who chases his love, however, it's just somebody who really stands out in the open and be like, who wants this piece of cake? I just a feeling. I'm just saying. If you're really looking for uh, relationships, you might be needing to really um, open yourself up rather than um, um, hide away from it. It's about time you really do the spinning. Uh, if you're looking to get committed with somebody, it's kind of like um, 
damn, with a towel, as soon as I say that, um, it might be a shocker to your person, to your par partner, it might be a shocker to whoever you might be dealing with, or you might be needing to go through some changes. However, I feel like as you go through changes, they make you a better person. Let's say you've been building on a certain behavior and you've been going at it over and over again. You don't know that it's quite self-destructing. I feel like with the towel, it's going to be being swept down. You could be dealing with connections, situations in your life, which are not built on a solid foundation. The structure is not so strong. There might be some... Um, like I said, the wheel of fortune, nothing is perfect, you know, there might be some imperfections with how you build your tower or just how you build your empire. And uh, as you build that empire, it's kind of like the tower got to fall down for you to rebuild it again with a farmer foundation. Now you know how to build a tower, you need to really put, you know, all the skills or the focus in it. And um, with a hair front, I really feel like there's something you need to realize, something you really need to recognize within your connections. Um, and uh, it might be needing you to face yourself, uh, admit yourself, and be honest to yourself. What does um, Aries need to know? I feel new beginnings coming in for you. New beginnings. What does Aries need to know? Um, I feel like the coming days, they might be quite promising. Uh, for you. Yeah, with the Ten of Wands, you're going to be able to release some buttons. Uh, I feel like there is a... There's somebody who might be within your energy. Uh, they might be observant of you. Uh, they might be quite uh, holding back what they have to say or what they have to offer to you. However, like I said, you might be dealing with a business establishment that's quite ha that quite has established themselves. And you have some sort of uh, service, you have some sort of skill you've been working on that you can provide to that business. You yourself, uh, if you're not dealing with that, it doesn't have to resonate with any, everybody who's running a business. However, everybody runs it in their own way. Uh, I feel like there is something in terms of uh, with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, it's kind of like you might be dealing with a company that does what you love to do. And they have their own people. They have their own things. It's kind of like you yourself, you have something you can provide. You have something you can really offer. You have something that you can present. And it's kind of like your person might be quite being reserved they see you they observe you they know that you're in the energy however it's kind of like they're trying to really um be strategical with how who they pick with who they choose you know that's kind of yeah i don't that's kind of specific um they're, they're being quite um It's the energy of they can they, they can take care of you they can take care of themselves and uh, you as well and uh, people around them. It's just like with the wheel of fortune, with the wheel of fortune and the hair of front, with the wheel of fortune and the hair of front. There might be some there might be some contract signing. You might get picked. You might get chosen, and, and your whole life might go through an ascension. And whatever barrier, whatever barriers you've been putting up, whatever buttons you've been holding on to, uh, whatever you've been uh, really uh, shouldering, or just whatever you've been trying to release, I feel like it's about time to release them because you're going to be feeling free. It's kind of like somebody who's been walking on their own, and with this hair front, it just makes them quite um, free in terms of okay, now I have somebody who I can deal with, somebody who I can work with, somebody who can help me with it with the hair front and the queen of pentacles a lot of money involved because the the, the hair front is a taurus and um energy and the queen of pentacles taurus uh, capricorn vago i don't know why i'm getting that energy however it's going to really be helping you release uh, what you've been uh, holding on to really uh, be free be uh, a bit um be yourself you know just i feel like it's gonna make you feel like a a free spirit you know like a fool however it's the energy of um 
there is uh, some union that needs to take place. There is some binding that needs to take place. Uh, if you're not in that business setting, you might be actually meeting somebody who wants a commitment. And now both of you are kind of like, you don't have to do things on your own. You don't have to show the things on your own. However, that's the energy I've been getting. Uh, yeah. Uh, you might be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, uh, Sagittarius. With the hair front, you might be dealing with a Taurus. Uh, with the pentacles, like I said, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Is there anything uh, Aries needs to know? <laughs> you might be coming to a time of financial um, security. I don't know why, why. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's the energy of where is the money at. If you're trying to know what song that is, what on the street? Um, I get the star in reverse. Huh. With the star in reverse, you might be um, walking towards um, your goals. Um, keeping that focus to yourself is kind of like I want to be a star. However, you might be needing to kind of put your um, your goals on the side, and uh, you you might be needing to deal with some sort of pain. You might be going through some time of feeling pain, uh, feeling a sort of heartbreak. Uh. Why is the star in reverse? The strength card. Uh, have courage and be strong moving on forward. Because uh, really, what you, it's kind of like past, maybe past pains, past memories, uh, past beliefs, past projects you've been really working on and they really feel heavy on you and they feel quite exhausting. And they feel burdening. Any barriers you've been putting up, it's about time to let them go and be free. Uh, two of um, ones, you're being quite indecisive. In the judgment, there's some sort of rebirth that's taking place with the star. In reverse. As you proceed on your life path, you'll be becoming more fearless. You know, it feels like... Uh, you have no uh, nothing to be scared of. The universe is also giving you a nudge to keep on moving forward. But as you move on forward, it doesn't mean like you don't have strength. It's just like you're having troubles making a decision with what you want to go through, with what you want to pursue. With the judgment, it kind of feels like something you might have put on the side, something you might have put on a hold is coming to life. And you have to drop one thing to really focus on another thing. Uh, maybe you have outgrown uh, some sort of situation. Maybe you have outgrown some sort of... Um, habit maybe something you were dealing with it truly has you, you have really got the enough of it you have really got a, enough of the um, enough of a situation or of a, a, a relationship or pattern you have truly had enough and with the judgment is a sense of uh, something maybe you haven't been giving so much attention something you haven't paying a lot of uh, efforts to it's kind of like it's the one that's being chosen uh, I don't know for well. I don't know why. It's cause it's kind of like two paths. And that's why you might be a quite. A, that's why you might be quite undecided. It's kind of like something you're really used to it. With the death card, it, it feels you are really used to it. It's kind of like you can do it a million, twenty times. It feels really good. It feels amazing. But with the death card, it needs to be transformed transformation is take place within your relationship within your work within uh, I feel like your whole life in general you gotta change you gotta step into the uncomfortable you gotta step into the unknown and maybe the stalker that's why it's being put on pause because you feel like you're being delayed you feel like it kind of like oh man I want to be that person I want to be this person I want to be maybe you want to be somebody who's famous and uh, what you want to be famous in is kind of like um Maybe you want to be famous in movies and maybe you've been acting and you've been doing voiceovers and you've been so good with acting and but your voiceovers just been like, oh, you tried it one time, two times and it's kind of like it got really boring or just it got really 
not the best and you just focused on acting and kind of like your acting got really good however it needs to really be transformed it needs to change it needs to really be evolved in terms of um, maybe if you've been acting in movies try to be acting in um animation i want to say I, it's kind of like it, as soon as you transform that transformation might actually come in in um in, in, in collision with what you do as much as I see this as being indecisive it's kind of like two roads that you know you have to pick one however at the same time you, they will meet up it's kind of like maybe you transforming is going to really help you uh, resurrect another career that you might have been putting aside another relationship that you might have put aside it's gonna feel uncomfortable at first with the star card in reverse it's gonna really feel like uh, you're being deprived of your path however it's kind of like it's promising with the hair front it's quite promising you can trust the process you can trust the path you can trust the way um, Maybe you've been uh, focusing on your passion and you've been putting work on pause. It might be like maybe you gotta work for a minute, you know, if you've been putting your work on pause, work so that you can find your passions. That sense uh, is second place. However, I really feel like uh, you might be just detouring around uh, your uh, situation currently. You might be having to detour from uh, your passion or just what you enjoy to do to really. Um, be even stronger to come back even more bolder what does Aries need to know what does Aries need to know for the coming week mm. you have the tower and the ace of cups are uh, some changes taking place within your life um, and uh, that change that's taking place is bringing a new relationship. Uh, with the tower, I, I really feel like something you've been building onto uh, strongly for a long time. You know, with the tower, it's kind of like it could be relationships, habits, uh, patterns that you know they've been ongoing for a momentum or just um, a good time. Kind of, it, it needs to be really. Um, it needs to be tweaked a bit, it needs to be evolved, it needs to be changed, it needs to be really readjusted. And with the chariot, I really feel like as much as this adjustment that might be taking place, as much as this change might be taking place, it feels hard, you know, it's kind of like you just build onto something and you gotta take it down, or the universe gotta take it down so that you can build something even more stronger. It feels kinda, mm, damn, you know. But with the chariot also, it's a sense of um, what you're going to be building on. So it might be hard to really build it off of the ground again up. With the chariot, it might be quite a devastating where you are. And you kind of like you have to take the slow steps. You're feeling a push and pull from different directions. You feel a sort of delay. You're not moving on the pace you really want. You're not feeling quite um, a butterfly in the sky. Rather, you're feeling like a butterfly in the water. You know, it's kind of like it's so hard for you to move forward. But it's the sense of now you know where you're going now you know um where you're headed maybe that butterfly is trying to get out of that water and truly uh, start flying in the energy that he's been wanting to fly into it's a sense of right now what you're going through you might be needing to drag yourself drag your feet you know you really uh just go at it however what's going to help you move on forward is going to you be getting uh new relationships new love offers new connections new passions coming in maybe by you detouring from um I don't know, maybe acting and you start doing something on the side uh, is going to really uh, open up new relationships in terms of some people who do what you really want to do and uh, they might be able to help you, they might be able to work with you, meeting new people within the world who really enjoy things as much as you do. Maybe you haven't experienced some aspects of life which you haven't been seeing or just you've been living your life in a tower and it's about time for you to really see the angels outside. It's about time to see the flowers and to rekindle your energy of love again it's going to be all available to you it's just like maybe get out of that tower whatever you've been building around yourself trying to take it down so that you can build a stronger one a better one and uh, a more secure one you know what you've been building on to kind of feels like somebody can push it off easily what does uh, Aries need to know for the coming week What does Aries need to know for the coming week? 
you might be getting a new relationship coming in but that new relationship i don't know with the hair front coming up before the ace of cups um if it is in some contract signing and then uh, you meet somebody along the way, if you're looking for love, uh, I really feel like, um, yeah, you might be needing to get established in some sort of a setting. And uh, before that, love, love comes in. With the Ace of Cups and Lovers, um, I feel like somebody rekindles your passion in love. Uh, it could be a situation or just even if you're not dealing with anybody, you might be meeting somebody who uh, kind of has the same interest, uh, mutual interest in you, just loves doing things. My lady got stra scratched, damn. Um, my goodness gracious. Um, with the lovers, it's the energy of uh, somebody who you truly admire, I want to say. And with the Ace of Cups, this person might be making a move towards you or just you might be meeting somebody and they instantly have a, a spark of light. You know, they have that spark of, um, oh, wow. Um, yeah. And uh, it could be, a, you could start off as quite that uh, you see it um, with the hair fun really coming up here. It could be something, somebody who makes it clear or a situation that makes it clear that it wants you however with the four of cups it's kind of like uh, i have other things to focus on you know i have other things i'm ambitious about i have other things that i really want however like i feel like over time as you make your heart open maybe with the tower you've been putting on a guard you've been really putting up some barriers with a ten of wands and you're putting them down maybe you've been super work oriented and go determined that you're starting to put your work on pause and maybe be open to people i feel like as you be open to uh the, your environment you go and see somebody who truly truly um has um some passion towards you you know some um love towards you and uh with the judgment also i feel like this let's say you've been putting love on pause to really focus on work i feel like the that passion of love is getting renewed uh you could be dealing with the capricorn um yeah wow if you have capricorn in your charts i really would understand why you're super work oriented however it's about time to really face yourself uh with the two of swords uh face yourself uh, admit to yourself that you truly could uh use somebody within your life maybe in the past you've been hard maybe in the past you've been quite uh um putting up a guard however it's a sense of um you're moving towards it quite being defensive and the reason why you're being defensive is kind of like you might be like oh I want them. No, I don't want them. No, I want them. No, I don't want them. I love them. No, I don't love them. That sense. Uh, if you're not dealing with anybody, um, damn, with the Ace of Cups and the Lovers and the Hierophant, really, wow, what a waste of energy. I'm sorry. There's a sense of, um, if you're by yourself, you might be needing to really go outside because uh, this really looks like love that's starting out and it's quite promising. It might start out as something really uh, affectionate and uh, as you go forward, it might be something quite influential. Uh, maybe you don't want a relationship. And uh, you being a bit of, um, I don't want a relationship, I just want something momentously. It goes different for anybody. However, there's somebody who really has their eye on you. Anything Aries needs to know. Somebody who has a, uh, their eye on you. A Knight of Cups. And uh, wow, okay, so they are coming towards you fast. Wow. You have the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. So, um, be careful of rushing into situations. Be careful of uh, taking a risk jump. Um, be careful of just uh, bolting after opportunities that you see. Uh, like I said, you might be seeing uh, some people being around you, being in your energy. However, at the same time, you gotta keep in mind, this is new relations, not just a relationship. Uh, with the Ace of Cups, it's kind of like, you might be having a lot of people who want your attention. A lot of people who really want to reciprocate your energy. A lot of offers that deal with your passion. A lot of uh, things you might be attracting in. Not everything is going to be promising. You have the Seven of Swords. Something you feel like is going to work out, maybe it's, um, it's a fail, maybe it's an L. 
uh, maybe you want a commitment out of somebody and um, your person truly just wants to live in the moment your person just wants to be in and out yeah your person has other things to deal with uh, wow if you're dealing with a Capricorn um, you could be dealing with somebody who's toxic who has also other people within their energy and it's a sense of uh, maybe trying to live in the moment don't try to really just uh, go after things because they feel good I feel like it might be really good to be reserved. However, it's the energy we can't escape of the Knight of Cups. These, these things show up. And it's kind of like... Uh, as you you go after it, you're going to realize that something is not truly um, what it seems to be. Something is not truly working out in your favor. Just is not truly working out... Um, something is not going to plan and with the ten of souls it's a feeling of feeling lost and abandonment uh what does aries need to know for the seven of souls because these two are really devastating energies kind of like you you planned out something to be such a way and uh, it's not really going to your way and actually what comes after that failed plan is it's, it's kind of like you're feeling defeated you're feeling a sense of uh, like devastation what does aries need to know Maybe something it doesn't work out in your plans and it makes you quite feel abandoned. I don't know. What does Aries need to know for the Seven of uh, Swords and the Ten of Swords? I really hate re leaving the reading on a bad note. Uh, focus on your progress. Focus on your progress. Focus on your work. Focus on your determination. Focus to where you are going to where you want to be. What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know? Uh, surround yourself with like-minded people. With the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords, what does Aries need to know? Okay, have hope. Have hope uh, within yourself. You know, uh, by you chasing opportunities, by you chasing people, by you going after people, it just feels like you pe you're giving people a chance to play you. Oh, wow. That's kind of rough, huh? Um, but you, um, really, it's kind of like by you going after people, you're giving a chance for people to reject you. You're giving people a chance to hurt you. You're giving people a chance to really um, do anything with the offer you're presenting them. Maybe let people come to you. Maybe let people come to you. As much as you feel great love for somebody, as much as you feel great love for a situation or a person, let people come to you. Let things unfold the way they want to unfold. Because uh, by you putting yourself in a situation, is it might not be as what you thought. You know, it might be quite, quite self hurting I might be taking your eyes off what you really need to focus on. With the nine of uh, pentacles, I strongly see you having something gorgeous within you. Skill, talent, or just um, even you looking amazing. There's something that the universe has blessed you with. Uh, it could be, uh, let's say, you really... Yeah, I really see it as your talents. There, there's a hidden talent you have within you. Just focus on that. Focus on the progress you're making within your work situation. Focus on what's working within your work and what's not. Uh, focus on uh, what's healthy for you. It's just like love will always be there for you. These options, these cups will always be there for you. It's just a sense of um, when you truly start giving them attention. It's the sense of uh, you, you put yourself in a spot that kind of leaves you for being hot. With the Ten of Swords, be careful of um, really, um, it's just a sense of feeling defeat, you know, um, just feel like whatever you're trying out is not working out. However, have hope. With the Five of Cups in reverse, have hope because what you thought is lost is not all long gone. You might be starting to uh, gain back uh, people, situations in your life that have went aside. However, as much as people are rushing in or as much as people are coming towards you, uh, just be determined in where you want to be, where you want to head uh, in your future rather than investing in people because people will always be there. It's just a sense of uh, you need to be there for yourself and actually love, learn to love yourself. So yeah, thank you, Aries.